chest. It's the fifth uh, Easy Train Summer Camp in Poland at uh, Rose, Rose, Rose Wogi, 2015, August 6th, Thursday, which I believe is day five or six. I'll, I'll write it down. And we just finished the morning session with Wojtek, um, a, a person who is a physiotherapist and uh, yoga instructor and, and meditation instructor. And he knows a lot about the conscious mind and the body. We talked uh, in the football field, the soccer field, uh, a little bit about awareness, uh, the concentration on the awareness, and how usually um, we're not concentrating on our awareness, we're not being aware at all, uh, and how it's important to concentrate on that awareness, concentrate on on attention, on having the attention. Um, and that's, that was previously stated also by Joshua Craig. Uh, and having that consciousness, and understanding what consciousness is. I won't go into what it is because I can't explain it fully and clearly yet. You can look up information on, on your own. Um, but he talked about specific examples. Oh, and by the way, uh, he, he mentioned fascia. And, and a lot, large part of this conversation was about fascia. Um, Prowięć, it's called in, in uh, Polish. Prowięć. Powięć. Powięć. Okay. Um, so fascia, something that covers the whole body, covers the, the ligaments, the tendons, uh, the, the, the covers the bones, um, the connective tissues, something that stretches far and wide across um, and throughout the body, and something that we are now beginning, especially the EDTRAN practitioners um, and, and, and individuals in the, in the medical field are becoming aware of. Um, this fascia is like glue um, uh, it's not like glue what happens when you get stressed is that the fascia becomes like glue this is one of the conversation topics I'm going through it a little bit um, based upon my notes uh, and the, how Wojtek was explaining it and that when we have stress that uh, over time our, our fascia area like our stomach area becomes glued and then, and then we end up sometimes with a hunchback or, and it sticks and it doesn't move. Um, and it's not easy to get it unglued. Um, and, and one of the ways to get it unglued, uh, you, when, you're, when you have that hunchback, when you have that specific problem in your body, and it's not turned back to normal, is to be conscious of it, to have awareness around it, um, to do slow breathing and movement. He showed us yoga positions, whereby people would do it fast, you know, like bending down to, to touch the toes. But he used a, a sort of quote that it's not the the motion of going down, it's rather the, the awareness and the journey of going down. The, the point is not to touch your toes, but rather to, to understand everything that's going on while you're touching your toes. So although most people just bend their back, unhunch it while they're touching their toes, really to keep awareness of your body posture and structure, to know that that's not something that you should be um, doing, uh, but to keep keep that structure, keep that element while you're going into these positions, uh, and to understand it. Slow breathing, movement. He talked about tensegrity, tensegrity, and you can also look on online and YouTube videos to to understand it better. Um, like the cells, every cell has a, you know connection with other cells. And when one cell an issues you know has an issue, the other cells also sort of know about it. Um, and how and how that connection is like an endless web. He also talked about a kangaroo and how a kangaroo, uh, they found that they don't have muscles to jump. So how is the kangaroo jumping? Well, it's this fascia that this this uh, this being this animal has that allows it to to hop along, uh, and 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 that was very fascinating. And and he said that muscles are very are highly specialized fascia. And, and uh, earlier, and even in today's time, we think of movement with relating s to specific muscles. And he says that this is simplicity. And that's so easy to get caught up in this, this practice of simplicity. Simplicity has become a practice whereby, oh yeah, this is due to this muscle and this muscle. But no, but in thinking about fascia, this makes our understanding of everything change, whereby we're saying, okay, all these connects, all these connections that are happening in our body are not causing this 
uh, this arm to rise. Okay, uh, so it's it's changing our our type of thinking or the way that we um, uh, look at our body and how. Uh, someone asks, how do how does something is, how do you know something is glued and and what is unglued in your body when something's bad and uh, glued is basically you were saying it's bad being glued in a certain way, um, like your your stomach is this way or your arm is twisting in this way. Time, stress, with time, makes parts of our body glued, and 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 then we can't move it in the way that we wanted to before. People who have injuries, uh, and um, just adapted to that injury without trying to explore how to get back to the normal way of functioning, stay in that hobbled state. And, 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 and individuals who have stress also, that um, that can be. Uh, also, diet can fix or harm your body. Um, foods that give your body alkaline. Are very important like like lemon um, and some fruits and vegetables those things that give your body alkaline really help with uh, keeping your fascia going and, and hydrating was mentioned so with all the simplicity no one really knows that you know uh, not many people know that all this stuff is, is just appreciated just uh, retold and retold how muscles and uh, fascia is not being told yet. And that's why we're getting this information out there. And that's why Ely Tron is a wonderful system. Um, that Wojtek, the person who was giving us this, this information about uh, about the, the mind and consciousness and the body and fascia, was fascinated. Was, he was fascinated with Ely Tron because of these elements that he found within it um, that were not being explained in other arts. So, you know, some other ways to unglue fascia. Uh, you mentioned quitting your job, you know, if it's causing you stress uh, to quit it, to working with your awareness, to become aware of everything that you're doing, everything that, all your movements, um, getting understanding, getting um, your, your mind and, and, and having concentration on being attentive, being attentive all the time, all of these, all these different elements within your own body. And, and, and constantly balancing their awareness is something that Joshua Craig had mentioned uh, uh, that I don't fully understand, in fact, but uh, it's balancing your awareness between different things and, and, and balancing your body uh, to, to understand what's going on and, and how to correct things before it gets too late, becomes too late. Um, you know, the 13 points was given as an example how we have the 13 points. And they are, um, you know, we concentrate on specific points of the 13 points. But, af you know, that awareness of the specific points becomes one awareness. And isn't, it isn't multiple awarenesses. It isn't multiple tensions. It becomes one attention on the whole entire piece. All the elements of the 13 points to feel. And when something's off, you can, you can tell right away because you've connected them within your mind. You've become aware of all of it. So now I'm going for breakfast, Shinadanya, um, and I wish you a wonderful day, and um, keep on training, Ely Tron, Flotonic, and, and take care.